All right, so it's been approximately 15 minutes, and my board is almost completely etched. I'll show you its progress. Rinse it off here. All right, so you can see that all of my traps essentially have been um, the copper in the traps has been etched away. Most of the copper surrounding the designs has also been etched away. The only copper remaining is in here between my design and to the left of this design. So I'm going to put it back in, agitate it slightly. You don't want to agitate it too much here because um, you will start to um, eat out the copper from under your designs. So I'm going to set it back in here for hopefully no longer than a couple minutes. So it's almost completely gone there. Probably another 30 seconds is all I need. So this etchant contains uh, both ferric and ferrous chloride. Ferric chloride is um, highly corrosive uh, to copper and also uh, very uh, dangerous and so make sure you're wearing gloves when you're doing this. So the reason we're etching all the way down to our fiberglass layer is so that we have a completely flat photoresist and then 42 micrometers beneath that a completely flat fiberglass layer. Although its surface is slightly um, bubbly under a microscope is actually what it looks like. It's much flatter than if we stopped the etching somewhere in between or uh, halfway into this process, which would leave some copper, but the copper would be very um, unlevel because very unlevel because um, some spots would etch faster and then be uh, depressions essentially in the bottom of the design. Whereas if we can just etch the entire thing all the way down to the fiberglass layer, we have a completely flat. All right, so here is our completely etched circuit board. Take a paper towel, dry it off slightly, and because the surface of the photoresist is relatively uh, bumpy, I like to remove the photoresist layer. Um, leaving the copper behind like this. And that is a very easy thing to do. All you need is isopropyl alcohol or any rubbing alcohol. And so you just spray it on the design and you can actually see the photoresist dissolve before your eyes.
this is only 70% rubbing alcohol is all I was able to find. The higher um, higher percentage you can find, the quicker the photoresist will be removed. You can actually rub your finger over it in order to speed it up, and it'll just come off right on your finger. I like to allow it to just sit on the circuit board um, due to surface tension and form basically a bubble so that will allow my photoresist to dissolve away without me using a ton of rubbing alcohol. So I'm almost there. Spray it one more time. And that should be all we need to show the shiny copper beneath. All right, so there we are. We've um, developed, etched, and then removed our photo resist. So we have a 37 micron layer of copper sitting on a fiberglass substrate. So now we're going to dry this off, or rinse it off with water first, then dry it, and then we're going to cast it in PDMS to create our final device.